Hello guys and welcome back to the 737 build. Now this is a bit of a catch up episode. It's mainly the last three weeks that the family were away back in the UK which gave me plenty of time to finish this off. This episode now brings us back up to date exactly where you can see me now. So sit back and enjoy and hopefully follow along. This was the point in the build where I realised the design actually worked. It was a massive undertaking to disassemble the whole cockpit piece by piece and finally glue all the parts together. Then I had to sand them and apply the relevant finish. Hello guys, it's Saturday morning here. I'm up early. I spent the last week prepping all the parts, ready for gluing, sanding, and finally painting, which is what I'm hoping to get done today. It's my last weekend alone. The last weekend I get to use the dining room. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got a lot to achieve. I was kind of hoping I'd get a lot further. This has taken a lot longer than I expected. So until then, let's head outside and start prepping. So while the parts outside are drying, it's time to move inside, take the side walls down, take them apart, put some glue in there, put them back together, fill them, sand them, and hopefully get them primed today too. With the sidewalls pre-primed, it's now time to take the MIP apart and get the sidewalls on this unit sanded and primed too. rushed home from work, it's time to start putting some of this stuff together. Okay, next up is the chart holder, which hopefully should just slide in. Next up is my 3D printed vent. I'm just going to slide it in. That will also hide this fly that managed to land on the paintwork. Push it in, drill a couple of holes, and use these little screws to fasten it in. Cup holder next. 
This is actually isn't the right size. This isn't the right size, should I say. It needs to be slightly bigger, but for the time being it will do. And I'll just sit that in there and drill the holes. Next up, USB panel. With the side walls complete, it's now time to rebuild the MIP. It's all been painted, it's just a matter of rebuild and screwing it together. This being the centre glare shield. Okay, the bit that I've really been waiting for all day, and that's to put the side walls onto the front section. And let's just see what it looks like. Big smile on my face. I'm liking how it's all coming together but let's see what the real finale looks like. And it's as easy as sliding the sidewall into position. It's Monday morning here in Brunei. I don't start work for another couple of hours, so I thought I'd try and get the overhead trims on. Now this side shouldn't have a panel. Because I just mirrored the side on the design, I made a panel and it shouldn't be there. So if you're gonna make it, all it needs is a straight bit of wood. Time to fit the bulb holder panel. And let's see if I can get this in. It's just got double-sided tape on at the moment and it's there. Bingo. I think that'll do. And that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have no idea what the next part's going to be. Probably the aft overhead. 
I'm looking forward to building that, getting myself away from the woodworking section. The woodworking's not quite over yet, I've still got the floor to make and the dual controls to sort, but that'll come eventually. Catch you later guys.